<laughs> oh man. What's going on, G-verse, or should I say, boys and girls? Gather around. I have a story to tell. You're going to love this. Be sure to get my free audiobook, The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. Hit that link right below and you'll have it immediately. I got a question for you. This is totally 100% hypothetical. I want you to realize that. 100% hypothetical. I want you to tell me what you would do in this hypothetical situation. You. I want you and I want you, all of you, to tell me what you would do. Say the year was 2006, right? In this purely hypothetical situation. And you were a storage auction person. You were that guy or that woman that went out and bought units and you were like, going once, going twice, $100, $150, here. you were that guy. You were like, yeah, bidding. Your heart would just pucker, pucker, pucker from the adrenaline. Door goes up, you see a room that you want and you were just like, yeah. I knew a guy, He, I used to call him the rooster because he just post up, chest all out, just post up. I'm like, I knew he wanted that. I could fuck with him then, right? But say you were one of those people. Because, you know, it's not like special anymore because it's not the esoteric world that it used to be since, you know, the television shows have dropped a dime on the business. But you were doing that in the hypothetical year of 2006 of our Lord, in the year of our Lord, 2006. And you bought this room that looked like hell. Just, I mean, it looked like someone went out and got some stank, some crack, some meth and a whole bunch of cow manure, mixed it all and just threw it in there on top of furniture. There was mold, there was mildew, there was everything that just made you go, no, I don't want this. If you've watched this channel for the beginning years, you know that stinky units can make you a lot of money. This room was stinky, it had all kinds of aroma. It was ripe. So I kind of hung back in the cut in this hypothetical situation because I have to tell the story as if it's me and I want you to position yourself in the same spot. Matter of fact, even say in your mind, I was back in the cut. Say it, go, come, say it, motherfucker, say it. And you're back in the cut, right? Door goes up, you see all this stuff, and immediately people disperse, they're gone. They're like, I'm out of here, I'm not buying this. No, 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 no. So. Being a person such as myself that loved stinky units, I just kind of went to the cut in this hypothetical situation, I'm just saying, just in the cut. And waited till everyone dispersed and got out the way. And being who, so being the dude that I am, if I was in that hypothetical situation, just kind of, you know, get a little closer to the manager and go, Nah, I wouldn't go pss, pss. But like yo dude nobody wants that room give me 30 days plus extra time you know 30 days to clean out all the rooms that I bought on this property I'll handle that for you Psh, fist pound done deal door goes down you have that room now many of you out there going why would anyone even do such a thing I'll tell you that type of activity bought me goodwill time and time again because if they had to pay a haul off company with insurance and properly vetted and everything they could spend anywhere from 300 to 2000 to clean out a room depending on what's in it so the rent that they lost on their room was nothing compared to what they would pay for the proper and if it was public storage you had to be a proper vendor they just couldn't be anyone so it saved them money to have someone just clean it out just in case you or in that business and you need something to help you so okay back to the hypothetical situation and would you just really think about it taco and uh, 
you're there because you're that above average storage auction buyer. You know how the game goes. So you make that move and you've got extra time so you can like actually let everything in that property just stay there. So here it is, the 25th day, hypothetical situation. You're there to get those rooms cleaned out. You clean out the easy stuff first. Because you know, this room is hell. This room is Herman the Monster on meth. Liddy's on crack, and the little kids are smoking wacky weed laced with cocaine and LSD. It's that kind of room. You get it there. And you've got your Latino brothers, if you're that kind of person in this hypothetical situation. And door goes up, and somehow a room is either better or worse than it was when you first bought it. In this hypothetical situation, the room was much worse. <laughs> much worse. You saw it. So you get to clean in. And you've got your guys doing this, and you've got a strategy, and you've got trash bags going. Then, all of a sudden... You order everybody out of the unit and you shut the door. You put two locks on the door and you take what's on the truck and the Latino brothers back to wherever the hell you got them from, Home Depot, Lowe's, or wherever that may be. Drop that trash off at the Doorville transfer station in this hypothetical situation. Then you go back by your damn self. You go on the property like a runaway slave looking to your left, looking to you, just cause you just scared. I mean, you're terrified. Terrified! You go in the room and you do something you've never done before. You have your 300 million watt candle power light and you raise the door of the room, you take those double locks off, click, click, click. You lift the door up. You go in there and you pull the door down all the way down to the ground. And you turn on your light. You go to where you were before you got everyone that moosed out of there. And all you see is cash. All over the floor. One dollar bills up to one hundreds, just everywhere. About two feet high. And you start scooping and putting stuff up. You get tired from moving the money. Because as you're putting it in garbage bags, it's getting heavy. Some of it has a little mew deal, but you know, bleach in this hypothetical situation takes care of that. It does, trust me. I don't know for a fact, but I'm telling you in the hypothetical situation, it does. So you find all this. I mean, it's just all the way from, you know, the units are 10 by 20, and there's about 8 feet, 2 feet of cash just everywhere, bag stuff, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff, just, just, just crazy stuff. And as you're stacking and cleaning up, you light, like in the monster movie, it's flickering because that sucker's about to go out. But you don't give a damn. <laughs> you don't give a damn in this hypothetical situation. You don't give a damn. So you go ahead and um, you scoop up what you can. And you go to your truck and you plug your light in and you charge that light up because you ain't leaving until you're done in this hypothetical situation. You ain't leaving. You ain't leaving. You get on the phone and you call people who matter. There's only going to be one or two if you're smart. One or two. You know, if it was me, and I had a partner, I would call him a partner. I was just saying in this hypothetical situation. And you go back after your light has a little life and you get what you think you can because it's getting dark outside. And then as you are about to close the door, property manager comes by on the golf cart. You like, hey, yeah, you start talking and saying stuff that don't matter because for some reason you just goofy. Excuse me. It's been a long day, ma'am. And the property manager goes around the corner. The whole time they're looking back because they know something up. So you wait because you you got instincts. You know how they work. And sure enough, five minutes later, psh, she's back. But you're done at that point. You um, come back later that night because you have 
the manager, the area manager's gate code because you sat behind him one day when he was punching it in and you just mentally made a note and wrote that on your little notebook of all those master codes so you had 24 hour access. You know, if you were that kind of guy. So you come back and you remove the other stuff that's in there that was under the cache. Dark stuff. Stuff that uh, could give you nightmares. Stuff that um, you would never ever tell anybody about. It's just that kind of stuff. Just stuff. Organic stuff. And it's about four of them. And they've been there for a while. Just saying. What would you do in that situation? In that hypothetical situation? Where the cash was close to a million dollars. In that hypothetical, what would you do? What would you do? So, that is the quandary. That is the question. What would you do if that was? Please put your comments and what you would do in that hypothetical situation in the comments section. Let me know what you would do. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you on the good side. And if you're wondering where I'm, why I'm wearing the gloves, if I tell you, I have the key.